T minus 10, 9. We go for main engine start. We have main engine start and lift off. America's first woman astronaut. And the shuttle has cleared the tower. When I was younger, I saw Sally Ride give a talk, and she showed all these amazing pictures of her in the space station and floating in space. She also talked about how it's important to get more women into science. And I figured, okay, I'm a woman, she's cool, I want to be a scientist. As an electron microscopist, I take pictures of the smallest building block in the universe, the atom. Even though it's so small, there's a story behind it that can lead to better technology, better medicine, new treatments for cancer, and possible cures for Alzheimer's. I came to America as a refugee from Vietnam. My family didn't have a lot, and things were really hard. I'm sorry. The advice that I would give to a young girl wanting to become a successful scientist is to keep pushing. Don't give up, even when it's hard. My work has the potential to help predict and prevent future global pandemics like COVID-19. I've spent so many hours of my life sitting under a bat net in Madagascar. I work very closely with a team of Malagasy students. We collect biological samples from bats, which we use to understand what viruses these animals have and at what point transmission risk to humans might be highest so that we can help predict and prevent future emergence events when these viruses spill over to humans. It's both exhausting and exhilarating to be at the heart of the scientific field that is combating the COVID-19 pandemic. And there's an added pressure to do the most I can and also do the highest quality work of my life right now. during COVID, there is a scientific reason why we're all missing each other. We need each other to be healthy and survive and thrive. I study how the brain controls social behaviors, especially depending on who we are interacting with. Of course, we wouldn't act the same way if we're talking to our boss versus our mom. If we understand how a healthy brain controls behavior in a social setting, we can develop better therapies for psychiatric disorders. I grew up in Puerto Rico in a family of a lot of musicians. Music changes how we feel, and I wanted to understand how that happens. That's how I got interested in studying the brain. Outside of my research, I have a project called Stories of Wind, where we profile women neuroscientists from all around the world. Tell us about your latest research. As a Latina woman in science, I recognize how important visibility is. We all have unique paths to being a scientist. I was well into college before I met a relatable female mentor who helped me reconcile my passion for science and my passion for cheerleading and dancing. I realized that I could unapologetically pursue both. And I did. I cheered professionally all while in school getting my degrees in biomedical engineering. Based on research I did during my PhD, I co-founded a startup company with the ultimate goal of creating a functional cartilage implant to help the millions of people that have cartilage injuries around the world. That's why I am a biomedical engineer, because I don't want to just study the body. I want to create things that help people. I had a time in my life that I thought I would not be able to be a mom and a scientist. I want to be the mom that my daughter will be proud of. And I want to make a difference in the world. As a researcher, I'm working to develop a pill that will completely eliminate the need for insulin injections for people that suffer with diabetes. And that can improve the life of more than 400 million people. And that's great. I'm from Brazil, and 
My mom was never able to go to school, but she was able to show us how important to have an education, to think that I can be the role model for the next generation. I want my daughter to know that she can be a great scientist if she wants, or she can go farther than I did. It's time that, that people realize that women in this country can do any job that they want to do. As a young woman, I think it's so important to have female mentors as scientists. We need to be there. We need to be at the forefront so that we can push the field and we could make it our own. There is a very common misconception that people are either born science people or not science people, and I don't believe in that. Regardless of your background, we need you in science. The world needs science. And science needs women. Because women in science have the power to change the world. To change the world.